What's up, everybody? And welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a Monday evening here in Finley, Ohio. And I'm getting ready to relax and have a beer. The beer that I'm going to review today is O'Shea's Winter Ale. This is one of the beers from the Aldi Advent Calendar. As I noted earlier on when I did the unboxing, I'm not going to rip through all 24 of those in a row. I think about 12 of the ones in the box are from O'Shea's, and I don't really want to drink 12 different O'Shea's variations in, you know, kind of a, a month. Um, so I'm going to break them up, uh, probably do some before, some during December, some in, uh, after Christmas as well, depending on, you know, what else I mix in. Um, so this one's kind of odd. I went to the website for O'Shea's, um, learn a little bit about the brewery. I've seen their beers before at Aldi, and I know I've had one or two over the years, but I really didn't know much about the brewery. Um, so again, I went to the website. It said they were founded in 1996. Um, obviously, Ireland has a long storied history when it comes to a brewing tradition, especially when we're dealing with things like Guinness. Um, but these guys are kind of new, I guess from 96 on, um, they said they were pioneers in the Irish craft beer industry. So I guess they're bringing a little something different than what we'd have with Guinness and the, the traditional Irish breweries. Now, this brewery is actually called the Carlo Brewing Company. And I thought that was odd after called all of Shays. Uh, but when I looked at where the brewery is, and I'm going to butcher the name, it's Baganalstown, um, which is in County Carlo in Ireland. So I'm guessing, obviously, Carlo Brewing comes from being in County Carlo. Um, they had a full range of beers. They had the core range, craft evolution range, seasonal, barrel aged, and they even did some collaborations with other breweries. Um, I also went to Untapped and Beer Advocate as usual to see what I could find out about this beer and kind of see what the consensus is. And to be fair, there really wasn't one. Um, Untapped had an NA, no rating. It looked like nine people had rated it so far, but I guess it's not enough of a sample size for um, untapped to fill it in, and it was really a mixed bag. Some people really liked it, some people really disliked it. Um, I went to Beer Advocate, and there was one rating, it was a 4.69. Uh, to further complicate things, it looks like they have another beer that has a similar name. So if you go to their website, you don't actually see this beer on there, but you do see one called Winter Star, which is a winter spiced ale. Um, all of the, the artwork and labeling is different, so I don't think it's the same beer, although you know, they may have some similar qualities. Um, one thing that should be noted is it says on the website that they only brew with water, malt, hops, and yeast. So it would appear they're kind of brewing in that Reinheitsgebot tradition. Um, you know, I'm kind of interested to see what they can do with a winter ale with just those ingredients. So let's check this out. O'Shea's Winter Ale. This is coming in at 5% ABV. Glassware today, I have this Yingling glass. This was a commemorative glass given away at the Reading Phillies game for their 40th anniversary. Um, sadly, it's plastic because obviously you're not going to give away glass at the baseball game or people will be hurling them at each other or it could become a, a weapon, right? Um, what's also super cool about this glass, aside from having the, the Reading Phillies logo on the front, is the back. The great John Cruck from 1994 as a member of the Reading Phillies. Um, John Cruck is probably one of my favorite baseball players of all time. So I saw a lot of people had um, specialized you know, glasses with all kinds of different stuff on it. The Wu-Tang Clan, really cool things. And I thought to myself, what do I need? A John Cruck glass. And this is the best I can find with the Reading Phillies. Uh, but I was thrilled to find this on eBay for five bucks. What a deal. All right. So while I was yapping, this kind of poured a kind of an amber color. Um, wasn't much of a head to it. It's kind of dissipated. It really wasn't much there to begin with. Um, quite effervescent, though. Quite a bit of bubbles going on. The color is kind of more like a, a, an American lager, I guess. Um, I don't know why, but I thought this was going to be a little bit darker than it is. Um, Note on the back, this well-balanced pale ale combines the sweetness of Irish barley malt with the select tops to create a spicy seasonal taste. So, smell. You kind of get a little bit of a grain smell. Um, nothing too, too roasty. Um, light grain, a little bit of sweetness. Maybe like a little bit of a caramel type sweetness to it. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, 
you get the malt, um, fair amount of malt, then you get a little bit of spiciness, um, probably, you know, a hop spiciness. Feels a bit light, mouth, uh, you know, again, I hate to go mouthfeel, but there's a, a, a wee bit on the watery side. Um, this is not really what I was expecting. Um, usually when you start dealing with winter ales or these holiday type beers, they tend to have kind of robust um, tastes. So you have like a, you know, a, a, like raisin, um, you know, all these different kind of spices that go into it, like, you know, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, this kind of stuff. Um, and this doesn't really have any of that. Now, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It just doesn't deliver on what I thought it was going to have. Now, if we go back to the fact that they're only brewing with water, malt, hops, and yeast, kind of makes sense. They wouldn't be using any of those other kind of adjunct things that you'd throw in there um, to spice it up. Um, I don't really know what I think about this. I don't think it's a, a, a particularly good beer, to be honest. But it's not terrible. Um, I guess, you know, again, the million dollar question is, would I drink another one of these? If I saw a six pack of the winter ale for sale at Aldi, would I pick it up? Um, the answer is no, I wouldn't. Um, like I said, I've had some of their beers before and I thought they were okay, but this one doesn't really deliver. This kind of just tastes like a, like a really weak pale ale. Um, and there's nothing to really differentiate or make it a, a winter ale or a holiday beer, in my opinion. If you've had this, if you picked up the advent calendar and you tried it, let me know. Um, for me, it's gonna get a thumbs down. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Um, if you want to hear or see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. If you have any friends, family, relatives, enemies, coworkers that are interested in beer videos, um, please share the video. I'm always trying to grow the audience and get more people to join in on the conversations about beer below. So until next time, cheers from the Crocker.